The Base Linker system allows you to create invoices and receipts. We can create them manually or automatically. In addition, we can create sales registers that lists all invoices issued in a given month. To manage invoices, go to the Orders tab. Then, Invoices. Here, you will see all your generated invoices. Divided into invoices, performa invoices, corrections, receipts, sales register, and system settings. The Invoices tab contains all existing invoices. Here you can delete invoices, edit them, download to disk as PDF files, or upload invoices from an external system if you use an accounting system, such as QuickBooks or Xero. Here, you will see an icon indicating whether the invoice has been forwarded to your accounting system. This column will display an icon for all the accounting softwares in use. For invoices forwarded to a given accounting system, you will see an icon in color. The icon will be grayed out if the transfer has not happened. If you configured your accounting integration settings to upload an invoice automatically to the accounting system, we will forward them immediately after creation. You can also click on this icon to submit this invoice manually. The next tab contains pro forma invoices, then corrections, receipts, sales register, which we will discuss separately, and the general settings for all invoices. In Baselinker, you can have multiple invoice numbering series. You can issue different invoices for online storefront customers, for Amazon customers, eBay, and other sales channels. You can also create separate invoices for customers from the UK and for customers from the European Union or other countries. To add a new numbering series, click New Series of Numbering. Name the new series, select document type, and enter the numbering framework. You can use any value after the slash sign. For example, all invoices issued to customers in Germany will end with DE. If you want your invoice numbering series to reset once a year, remove the letter M from the numbering format box. Next, we choose the VAT rate. We can choose the following. Use the default VAT from the ordered products. We can also input our own rate, defined here. We can also choose the option VAT OSS. If you are a customer who sells and ships goods from the United Kingdom to the European Union, you can pick this option after you register with IOSS. Because OSS and IOSS are the exact same thing. This means that by choosing OSS, Baselinker will recognize the buyer's country and will apply the appropriate VAT rate. Next, we have to decide whether we want to include shipping cost in the invoice. If we choose yes, we must also provide the required VAT rate below. We can set this VAT rate ourselves or choose OSS as we discussed before, or IOSS for the United Kingdom. We can also use the default VAT rate from the order. Then add shipping name prefix in our shipment. Decide whether to skip products with price zero, pick no or yes, or omit them entirely. Further down, we pick whether to include currency conversion information. If you select a currency to convert to, then we must also add conversion date and payment method, the transaction date, other details, product identification. It can be an EAN or SKU number. Then configure additional information to display. Want information. Then specify any phrases to remove from the invoice. Enter the city, 
Specify the issuer. Provide seller details. Any additional information to include in the invoice. Down here, we pick the template. By default, we only have one template available. However, we can add a new template that will appear in this list. To add a custom invoice template, go to the Prints and Exports tab. In the Prints and Exports, find the Alternative Invoice option. There really are two options, Alternative Invoice and Alternative Invoice with a barcode. To use it, click Subscribe and then OK. The Alternative Invoice template moved to our list and we can now use it. Now, this new invoice template is visible in the Printout Template dropdown. Choosing the Alternative Invoice option gives us the ability to change the invoice. We can edit it in the Printouts and Exports tab. Next, choose the main language for a standard printout template. Any additional languages that we need in our invoice. Pick Headline, Document Name, and Other Information. After filling in all the above information, we can save the invoice template here. We can use the same process to add a new receipt, correction, pro forma invoice, or another document. To edit an existing invoice, click Edit on the right-hand side. To delete it, click Remove. We can add a correction to existing invoices. On the list of available invoices, click Correction. Select the numbering series for the correction and click OK. Enter the basic information, such as date, and then introduce your changes. You can change the ordered items or any other details in the invoice. Down here, you can add, delete, or edit existing products. And in this section, you can edit, change, or delete other details in our invoice. After completing the changes, click Create Correction. Our correction was added here. The correction is now in the list of corrections. The Invoices tab also includes the information that this invoice has been corrected. We can also generate invoices manually from the Order List tab, selecting any number of orders you want. Click here on Sales Documents, and then select what kind of document you want to create. An invoice, pro forma invoice, or a receipt. You can also create an invoice in the Order Information section by clicking here on Create an Invoice. We also have to choose a series of invoice numbering. After we created the invoice, it will be added to the list of invoices. Invoices can also be created using automatic actions, which we will discuss in detail in a separate session.